What are we cooking today, Joyce? We're cooking this mint pork with bean sprout. This is soybean sprout. See how big the top is? I'm separate them. I'm chopping the bean of the bean sprout. Where can you get that? You can get it in Chinatown, of course. I saw it in the Japanese store. I'm cutting this first, and then I'm going to cut the brow of the bean sprout. You don't need to go crazy. Just a little bit, yeah. Okay, throw it in the food processor. Ooh, you put a food processor, it become too small. See, this is the consistency. Okay, I'm going to put this into the wok. I'm not drying it yet to just get out of the way. Now I'm going to cut the brow part. Now where can you get that? This is the same as the other one. Oh, it's part of that one is... Yeah, I sold you. I'm going to cut it up a, and then mix it in and try it. That's the consistency. Okay. I need to put some ginger in the pot. Put in the food processor? Yeah, but it's only this little. It's faster to just chop it. I'm gonna turn it on because I want to dry it. I'm gonna put this one in too. Mix together. Then we cook the pork and then we can have dinner. How long do you see that? Oh, you just have to see it. Then, do you see how wet it is? Yeah. You know, you just want to dry it up. Not like completely dry because this is vegetable. It's never gonna be completely dry. Mm -hmm. And just spread it out a little bit, medium. Don't go too high. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more oil. I'm gonna take it out and then I'll cook the pork. Chop this up. And that's like a loin of pork? Um, the guy told me that this is the piece that's gonna be good. <laughs> Where'd you get it? Chinatown? Chinatown. I go to this old-fashioned butcher, not like in a package. Then you can ask them, you know, what is that for and stuff. Coven, you know what you would do? You go there and buy some that is already mint. Oh yeah? <laughs> That's always a shortcut. This is a lot, but I'm going to co cook everything because I have an extended family. You want some for lunch, right? Sure. But you can use boneless pork chop. I need to practice my English better pork chop. I'm going to do it in two batches because I want to really mint it. I'm going to do this part. I'm going to check it. I don't think the food processor mints so good. No? No. Nah. If you want to really mint it good, you have to get one of those things. One teaspoon because there's a lot of meat. Little sugar. A quarter cup of water, liquid amino. Okay, I'm gonna put ginger in here. Like ginger. A little liquid amino. A little cornstarch, like half a teaspoon. A little dark soy. A little dark soy in the thickening sauce too. Vegetable oil. A tablespoon and a half. The wok is pretty hot. Let it heat up. Then I'm gonna throw the meat in it. The watching pot never boils. Okay, I'm gonna throw it in, the whole thing. Okay, I'm not moving it until it forms a crust because that will be tastier. And then you can turn it? Yes. I'm going to try to flip it. I'm still not breaking it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Then I'm going to flatten it a little bit, make the base a little bit bigger, then to cook it before I break it into small pieces, medium high. You can adjust, like my stove is pretty strong. I, I do medium high. But if your stove is weaker, then you, you do high. The other side is brown, right? See that? Turn it and start breaking them to make sure that it cooks through and through because it's pork. But then it's tastier. You basically intensify the flavor. It's a technique, right? Yeah. Can you do that with chicken? Do it with all the meat. If you want to have mint, then you start breaking it and then you cook it through and through. It looks almost fully cooked. No. Look look at the meat. Look at the see. And then you can even smoosh it. It smells great. We sort of have mixed it. I changed pickled vegetable. It become a totally different dish. You can burn it too. Burn is good. You want it crispy? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn it back on because it's, I don't think it's cooked full and full. Okay. And then I want to put a little liquid amino add to the flavor. A little bit of color. I want to cover it for a minute to make sure they cook full and full because it's pork. This have raw meat in it. I'm not using it to finish it up. I'm using a different one. There's the thickening sauce. Put it in the middle. I would say it's really good for it. It has all the flavors that I really love. And then when it thickens, 
Okay, I'm gonna put this in. Smell incredible, huh? And then mix it, and that's it. I'm gonna turn it off. Owen said that's not enough sauce. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, smells good, right? I'm gonna to top with some scallion. Just as thin as you can. Yeah, that's the color choice that you like. Yes. It's all about the look. The presentation. Coven tell people, actually the food is lousy. Very <laughs> It just looks good. It's so small. No, this is for me and this is for you. <laughs> the bowl is for me. <laughs> no, from the wall. That's actually a really good portion. Picture time. Picture time.